Asian people weird animals. We got cookies, so I might switch the bus. Black communities are over police, buddy. They really spawn camped us. It's actually insane. See, me personally, I don't even care. I'm gonna have chicken in one hand and watermelon in the other and I'm gonna eat them both at the same time. Oh. Damn, brother. <laughs> Mexican. You think there's some type of like chromosome issue with black people that create thugs? <laughs> Y'all see the title of this video. Today, we're gonna be looking at stereotypes of different races and rating them based on how accurate they really are. And before we get started, I got some housekeeping to do. Uh, number one, I'm not racist. Number two, this video is all made in good fun and just jokes. I'm Asian myself, if you can't tell, yeah, uh, look at look at these, look at these monoliths, buddy. I know I'm about to be edging the tip of cancellation itself. So please, like and subscribe. Don't cancel me. With that being said, let's get started. Number one, stereotypes about Asian people. See the drip though peep the little uh yeah stereotype number one asian people eat weird animals it's a stereotype that asian people like to eat you know bad soup and shit like that but is that really true i don't know black people eat chitterlings pork intestines pigs literally eat people all cultures eat something weird i know that for a fact white people eat alligators it's cool let me eat the garfields and the scooby-doos bruh it's really just a boiled egg i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like I let me see what's neck. in there what's in there it's the neck I don't want to break the head off. It's a freaking duck. Y'all not eating a little a baby duckling in the womb? Donald like Duck, bro. He no. Got feet and no. All of bro, that shit gotta be fire. No reaction? Light work, no reaction. Shout out Jinxie. Light work, no reaction. Don't knock it until you try it, right? Indonesians eating bat soup. Like, the jokes write themselves on this one, dude. <laughs> I know the comments gonna be crazy. That isn't a delicacy here. It's a staple, like Taco Tuesday in the U.S. So it's well, it turns you out you couldn't pay me a hundred million dollars. I am not eating no bat. That shit bigger than Drake. Imagine some bat wings, toss it in some buffalo sauce with a crispy, little crispy outside. Mmm. Tell me that wouldn't go hard. This is in green onions, okay, a little green herbs, onion including action. basil, lemongrass, okay, and tongue leaf. Shit up there, My eyeballs are... We normally in Minasa, we eat it on banana leaf. This is a traditional way to eat it. Yeah, you eat it with rice. Oh. But we're not beating the rice eating allegations either. Bro, everybody eats rice though. I don't get that one. This is how the Rona started, bro. <laughs> Why is it stretching? <laughs> what is she doing? It's just like imitating a sun. Oh. Yeah, that's how you eat it. Oh, I got it. I'm gonna eat all this head skin I just got. What's the real difference between eating like a chicken and a pigeon, bro? There isn't that much of a difference. They're both just birds, okay? Damn. I'm setting this back. I'm setting this back. I'm not trying to be like one of those Indian content creators who get famous off of just making fun of their own people, bro. Jingle, I give the stereotype like a 5 out of 10 only because you could find every race eating something weird. Really think about it. We really pull up on cows, hit them with a switch, and then we eat them for dinner. We eat them with burgers. Like what? Let me eat my cat and bat soup in peace. Damn. Stop judging my meals. Next up, we have the stereotype that Asian people can't drive. How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. Man, Asian people could drive, bruh are not bad drivers. Talk to him, Brian. Yes, they Talk are. To him. Asians have the least vehicle deaths in the U.S. Mm. by over 11. But Asians might drive less. Asians have the lowest vehicle deaths per miles traveled by nearly three times the next lowest. I don't care. Show me the data. But yeah, Asians data, because are... numbers rule. I will say, he's not beating those stereotypes of Asians being good at math, though, because this nigga literally did a whole breakdown of Leave it to an Asian nigga to do that. That's a 0 out of 10 stereotype based on the facts and the evidence. And you can't say I'm being biased because I'm Asian, bro. Maybe I am a little bit, but bro, based on the numbers now, we're more skilled than you, you thugs. Now, this next one's gonna be pretty quick. Um, Asian people are blind and we can't see. Unfortunately, for me, that's a fact. To even see or read anything, I need these big ass, thick ass glasses. So, yeah. Um, for me, this stereotype is 100% true. I'm gonna have to give this a 10 out of 10. And no, it's not because of the eye shape, bruh. Now, next up, we got Asian people are all very smart. That's actually facts. Um, you can tell just by the way that I speak, um, through my speaking pattern, the way I carry myself, and the vocabulary and the vernacular that I use during this video. I have a 4.0 GPA right now, actually. Yeah, my major is gender studies, but uh, does that really matter? But in all seriousness, um, this stereotype only exists because when the United States was allowing immigrants to come into the country, they was only allowing the smart niggas to come in. There's no way he knows what that means, bro. These are the Asian people that couldn't come to America, bro. <laughs> Y'all can't say all Asian people are smart anymore. This is an 8 out of 10 stereotype in terms of the United States only because they let in smart Asians only. Does that make sense? And then the model minority myth came apart. 
and then that just made a whole different issue itself that I could get into on a different day, but I'm not a political. I'm not trying to get too much into the social justice aspect of things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this right now. Fried rice? Mm-hmm. Okay. You little, don't let me say the word now. It's Black History Month. Enough about Asian people. Let's talk about those thugs. Stereotypes about black people. I can finally take this big ass jacket. Now we're gonna be addressing the stereotype that black people are criminal, black people are always in jail, whatever. Oh, hood, hoodlums, hood thugs. A lot of them, um, white supremacists, uh, use the terms uh, 1352 and 1390 uh, to be racist to people that look just like me, you know? So the number 13 refers to the percentage of US population that is African American. And the number 52 refers to the alleged percentage of all murders committed in the US that are committed by African Americans. They basically be saying, okay, despite being 13% of the population, you guys commit 50% or more of the crimes. So upon uh, doing a little bit of research and looking up jail demographic, we see um, at the end of 2022, so this is two years ago, so it's not up to date information, can take that with a grain of salt. 32% of persons sentenced to state or federal prison were black, while 31% were white, 23 Hispanic, and 10% multiracial or other race. And 1% Asian, See, us Asians are just... No, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. We make up most of the prison population, even though we're only 13% of the actual demographic. I know this is not facts because, you know, during them 2020 riots, you know, I was really in the field. I was really on my, I was really on my black square posting timing. So I was like, you know, doing a little bit of research here and there. Black communities are over-policed, buddy. Not to get too into the social justice aspect of things again, but... You know, it matters. And the reason why we even have hoods in the first place is because white people did redlining and created ghettos. Like, damn, we really got set up. They really spawn camped us. It's actually insane. When you're in jail, you're, you're pretty much just a legalized slave. Basically a legalized slave. I've seen the work that they do. They be scrubbing the floors and shit, you know, for a couple cents. If you get a nice little Rice Krispie treat or something at best. But other than that, you're cooked. You get nothing. 20, 25 years if you have a whole life sentence. And then, and then what? Based on the stats, uh, you could say this is an 8 out of 10 stereotype because the numbers don't lie. However, bro, we're getting set up. There's, it's not fair. It's not fair. And next up, we have the stereotype that uh, black people like fried chicken and watermelon. If you don't like fried chicken and watermelon, you're weird as a human being. I don't care what you're black, you're white, you're Asian, you're Mexican, you're purple, you're blue, whatever. You should like fried chicken and watermelon. See, me personally, I don't even care. I'm going to have chicken in one hand and watermelon in the other and I'm gonna eat them both at the same time. Mm. Oh. Damn, brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Bro, is it that good? Mm. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yo, can I get a piece though, bro? If you don't break bread, he fake. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, no, you lost me, lost me, lost me, lost me, lost me. Y'all can say, well, 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 all you want. It look good. That little piece on the bottom right there. Tell me you wouldn't grab that and just... <clears throat> okay, for the stereotype that black people like fried chicken and watermelon, I'm gonna give that a rating of 10 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, everybody does. Who doesn't? If you don't like it, you're weird. Like EDP, Epstein, I don't know, Stephen Hawking. Dahmer, they probably don't like fried chicken and watermelon either. So, do you want to be associated with them? Put the fried chicken on the watermelon and eat at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Then you're really invited to the cookout. <laughs> now, next up, we have the stereotype that Somalis have large foreheads. Um, now, if you go on Twitter and you type in, um, how did you know I'm Somali? You're just going to see a bunch of videos of this right here. This is messed up, bro. I have a very good friend, a very good pal that's actually Somali. Instead of me giving you my opinion on if this stereotype is true, since I'm not Somali myself, let's ask a Somali brother. Yo, I'm recording a video. I have a question. I have a couple questions, actually. Would you say that you have a uh, big forehead? A humongous one at that, yes. Yes, okay. And um, would you say this is a uh, common genetic feature that is uh, predominantly in the uh, community that you're a part of? A uh, crazy one. Um, it's been resulting in the, how do you know I'm Somali me? I, I can't escape this. Okay, fair enough. That's all I wanted to ask. I wanted to get the opinion from the source, you know. The hell did you hate? <laughs> you're, no, you know what? All right, all right, Hiroshima. <laughs> nah, he's canceled. He's canceled. He's literally canceled. He's literally canceled, bro. You heard it here from the from the actual living source and living proof, bro. Um, YXL Sala himself confirmed that uh, Somalis have large foreheads. I can't speak for y'all, um, but he does. So, as the representative of the entire community, that's got to be a 10 out of 10 stereotype then, right? <laughs> Mexican. Main stereotype that I want to talk about today for Mexican is that Mexican people are hard workers. This is low-key the most fire stereotype in the world that you could possibly have. You mean to tell me that my people are known for just straight up grinding? That's it? We can't stop grinding. We're too we're too like that. I need to I need to recreate the iconic your rage picture. But anyways, um bro, I can't see how the stereotype is a bad thing. Unless you know the corporations are trying to take advantage of like Mexican people and their ability to work hard. Um 
their work ethic in general and then pay them less or and shit like that you know then i'll understand that yeah okay this is a problem shout out mexico though the last stereotype we got is mexicans like to eat tacos and that's probably correct but we all like tacos who does not like tacos in america we got taco tuesday for a reason that shit is fire it's a staple at this point all people eat that food that's like saying white people like pizza yeah italians made pizza but bro everybody eats pizza now the same thing everybody likes tacos why do we look at these things in such a negative way if only these stereotypes were seen as like positive instead of negative man imagine we were like i don't know mexicans are hard workers yes this is a good thing black people like chicken and watermelon great asian people eat eat bats yay but yeah that's gonna do for this video so to end off on a real serious note um stereotypes are bad we should work to make harmful stereotypes turn into a positive compliment towards a specific group of people and the for the bad ones the crazy ones like to actually do your research um i feel like it's so simple to spot like a faulty stereotype to say that like black people are criminals you think that you were just born with a criminal gene when you have a skin color that's black so obviously there's more to the story i feel like it's literally that simple to people who genuinely believe these stereotypes um, you think there's some type of like chromosome issue with black people that create thugs there's more to the story there's more context man subscribe like the video please check out all the links in the description um i just started my discord um eventually i'm gonna start doing videos with y'all uh, follow my instagram i just dropped some fire ass fit pics oh my oh my god they saying i'm trying to be cardi though y'all see that picture of him with the wedgie that's not who i'm trying to be bro i just hope y'all enjoyed uh with that being said i'm love hello i love you and i'm gonna see you in the next one